how do you customize the control center with iOS 18? So as you may know, with iOS 18, Apple completely redesigned the control center. So in this video, I'm gonna be explaining to you all how you can customize that in this new update. So for starters, in order to customize your control center, just start by holding down on it. And then you've got the option to remove your controls and you could also add some. And in case you wanna go back to the old control center because it's hard to get used to the new one, just take a screenshot of this real quick so that way you could go back to it in case you need to. But in order to add controls into your control center, just press on the add a control button. And then you've basically got all these different options here. So at the top, we have the option to search for any of the controls that we want, but you have to be very specific in what you search for. You can't misspell anything, otherwise it won't show up. And also we've got a lot of new options over here in the control center that weren't previously available in settings. Like for example, when you scroll down to the bottom, you've got a lot of, you've got a lot of new features in the vision accessibility section. And overall, you've just got a lot of new features that weren't previously available in the control center. And when you customize your control center, you also have the option to drag on the corner in order to change, to drag on the corner in order to change up the size of the buttons. So for most of them, you could increase it from one by one to two by eight. And this is my recommended control center. You've got all the basic options that you've had previously up here. You've also got the do not disturb option and a low power mode. You've got the screen mirroring, rotation lock, and the brightness options here. And over here, you have some of the basic functions that you use often on your iPhone. And you've also got the app shortcuts. Now you've also got multiple different pages uh, in the control center. So on these two pages, by default, we have the home setup and the music. And I could, I also have the option to remove those. Now you've got the option to add as many controls as you want on your iPhone. Apple doesn't give you a limit, but that's basically it for the control center customization with iOS 18. Apple also did redesign the home screen so you could customize it. Now that's all the words for the control center customization with iOS 18. I hope you all found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel and check out my channel to see more videos like this in the future.